Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 and I'm actually bringing back part 2 of the best money making missions after patch 1.16 in Grand Theft Auto Online. So again, if you do like this video or find the information helpful, please feel free to drop a like on the video guys. I'd really appreciate it. But more importantly, hit the red button below this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to see more daily GTA 5 videos like this. I'm doing this with my good friend Jack. You can check out his channel as well. And this is a great way to make a ton of money doing some awesome missions after patch 1.16. As you know, all the missions were like revamped and their payouts were revamped as well. So the first one is chemical extraction and essentially this is our easiest one. All you need to do, do is go to the humane laboratory plant. This works best with one other person as you are required to hack a terminal. So essentially we just used our car as like a base right here. There goes Jack to actually hack the terminal and what I'm going to do is just going to be fighting off waves of people while he hacks the terminal. And if you do this correctly, they should actually just shoot at you and they shouldn't actually shoot at your friend who's hacking the terminal. So the waves of enemies shouldn't get that hectic, only they're really going to come at you with like a Hummer and maybe a few guys from the left and the right. But essentially, once you hack the terminal, your goal is to get into this bright red van, and from there, it's pretty much home free. All you have to do is get out of the humane laboratory plant, which is essentially the hardest part because that's when you're obviously going to be going the slowest and people have the chance to pick you off. But from there, you pretty much should be home free. There's going to be a helicopter and a few Hummers following you, but... They don't really have the best accuracy, I'm not going to lie. I, this van was shot to hell when I when I really completed this mission. And still, it was so easy to just make sure you don't run over any rocks or flip the vehicle. And you should be good to go. Lester's laboratory is only like, let's see, like a mile in an ish, a half away. And if you kind of do some like fancy maneuverings like I am right now, which is like going on the wrong side of the road for a little bit, you can cut down your time even more. And this was a fairly easy mission. Very low stress. Took us maybe about three to four minutes, which is why the payout, I guess, is slightly lower than all of our other missions but again very easy again only took us two to three minutes we still got a nice payout of twelve thousand dollars and of course 2400 rp now our next mission is quarry quarry again a little bit harder but also will provide us with a little bit of a nicer payout and again we are going to be stealing some vans although this time the vans are not going to be located behind a terminal but instead as you probably guessed it are located in a rock mining quarry and essentially there are two vans so this works again best with two people and one person can go to one van while one person goes to the other and essentially your job is just to kill all the people guarding the van there's probably going to be about 10 to 11 people per place and once you kill everyone you should just be allowed to take the van and stroll off. So right now, I've kind of identified that it's safe for me to take the van, and from there you are going to acquire a little bit of some resistance. Not too bad, but again, getting out of the main area is the hardest part because that's when you're going slowest, and it's when you can get caught by these motorcycle guys right here. So this is when you need to be a little bit more careful than normal, but once you're out of here, you're essentially home free. You're going to be getting on the highway, and then your objective is just to get to Lester's Warehouse again. So it's kind of located in the city, but most of it again is on the highway. Only took us about two to three minutes to do that so again a very short mission you can see i just delivered the van right here jack's following suit right here and he is going to deliver the van and again this is going to give us a very nice payout for a mission that only really took five minutes altogether. so very quick very easy we got a pretty penny of a takeout let's see 15 job points and just a little bit over thirteen thousand dollars and of course 2400 rp again and our final mission is satellite communications the hardest mission but also gives us the most payout and essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to this like satellite or radio-ish tower place and we're going to be killing a bunch of bikers there's a gang of bikers that are guarding this you know tractor trailer truck for whatever reason and there's a lot of them here i'm not gonna lie there's like 25 to 30 you need to be careful you've only got one life on hard which is the difficulty we're doing all these missions on right here and so you want to be careful because they can sneak up on you and they can kill you, which would uh, not be fun if you were to lose a life because this mission does get a little bit harder down the line. But essentially, once you have killed everyone in here, your objective is basically just to take the truck and drive it out of here. Now, we kind of progressed up here in stages. You can see I'm hiding behind this electrical transformer right now. There are tons of guys right here. I moved up a little too early right here, and I kind of got surprised by uh, these two guys right here. I was like, whoa, I'm not expecting you to. So good thing I had a lot of health, and that's basically it. Now what we're going to do is take the truck, and this is when you need to be very careful because the trailer part of this truck falls off 
so easily. So you need to be very careful going around all these turns right here because one slight wrong turn and the trailer flips over and it's impossible to get flipped over right side up. And then basically you have to restart the mission just because you can't get the truck apart attached to the trailer part. And also you need to be careful because like I said right here, if you run into like any little wall or object, we get super lucky right here. The trailer actually comes off and it's up to me to kind of like save the day right here and fix everything. So the trailer has completely come off. Luckily for us, it stayed right side up. It didn't tip over. So throughout the fire and I guess the flames, I guess we were able to, you know, get the trailer back on. And from there, we were able to complete the mission and it was mission accomplished. So again, satellite communication, a little bit tricky, definitely gives you the most payout. It only took maybe seven or eight minutes for about $16,000. So I was very impressed with this. Again, this is part two of the best money making missions in Grand Theft Auto Online after patch 1.16. Leave me some comments in the comment section down below about what you want to see or what you want to, you know, possibly w want me to do next as far as missions. Again, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. With that out of the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.